one thing that we can use um, power series four or series four um, is to write repeating decimals as rational numbers. That is fraction uh, or fraction or quotient of um, two integers. So, for example, here we have um, the number two point seven one eight two eight one eight two eight in this you know, block eighteen twenty eight. Just keeps repeating over and over again. Uh, we can write this as um, so two point seven one eight two eight. Uh, repeating is really just equal to well 2.7 plus 0 0.01828 repeating which of course is equal to 2.7 uh, plus here it's just we have kind of a tenth there that's not really doing much so let's write one tenth times um, 0.1828 repeating. And it might be helpful if we write out a few terms or a few more places of, um, of the repeating decimal. Because we can see that, well, this is actually just equal to um, well, this. If we break off this first part, it's 1828 times 10 to the negative fourth, because we you know, move this decimal place over 1, 2, 3, 4. And of course, then we need to add um, this part here. So that's moving it over eight decimal places. So 1828 times 10 to the negative eighth plus. And now we move it over 12 decimal places, 1828 times 10 to the negative 12. And since it's just repeating in the uh, decimal is even four, uh, four digits long, then you, know, you just keep adding a negative 12, negative 16, negative 20, so on. So it becomes an infinite series. And We can write this as, well, we can factor out the 1828. So we'll have 1828 divided by 10, which is 182.8. And then we're left with uh, 10 to the negative fourth plus, time, uh, excuse me, plus 10 to the negative eighth plus 10 to the negative twelfth, and so on. And if we continue this up here, We see that this is really just the sum from k equals uh, 1 to infinity of 10 to the negative fourth uh, quantity raised to the kth power, which is almost a geometric series, uh, except that with x equals 10 to the negative fourth, except that we're starting at 1. We can get around this just by uh, adding and subtracting uh, positive 1, which will then give us a k equals 0 term. So we'll have uh, 2.7 plus 182.8 equals, I would like to have the sum from k equals 0 to infinity of 10 to the negative fourth raised to the k power. Um, but of course, here, like I said, we're adding. 1, so we should subtract 1. Okay, so, ten to the, so now we have a geometric series, and we can use the formula for it to find its sum. And we can use that because 10 to the negative fourth is definitely less than 1. So 2.7 plus 182.8 times here we have 1 over 1 minus uh, 10 to the negative fourth, which is 1 over 10,000 minus 1. This is 2.7 plus 182.8 times, okay, this is 1 over 1 minus 10,000 is going to be 
9,999 uh, is going to be 1 over 9,999 over 10,000. So this is 2.7 plus 182.8 times uh, 10,000 over 9,999 minus 1. And now if we uh, work all this out, we end up uh, getting a fraction of, and converting the decimals to fractions, then we end up getting uh, the fraction 271801 uh, two, over 9990. Nine, nine, zero.